We will now take a look at integrating hyperbolic functions involving the hyperbolic sine function and the hyperbolic cosine function. Recall that when differentiating a hyperbolic function, the derivative of the hyperbolic sine of x is equal to the hyperbolic cosine of x, and the derivative of the hyperbolic cosine of x is equal to the hyperbolic sine of x. We can use these differentiation formulas to form the corresponding integration formulas. So we have the integral of the hyperbolic sine of u du is equal to the hyperbolic cosine of u plus c. And the integral of the hyperbolic cosine of u du is equal to the hyperbolic sine of u plus c. Let's look at a problem that involves integrating hyperbolic functions. An integral like this may seem intimidating, but let's look at it in a different way and make the integral a little simpler. First, notice that the hyperbolic cosine function is raised to a power, and we also have a hyperbolic sine function. This gives us a hint that we should use u substitution. So let's decrease the power on the hyperbolic cosine by 1 and rewrite it as a product. Next, we'll set u equal to the square of the hyperbolic cosine of x squared. Differentiating, we get du is equal to 2x times 2 times the hyperbolic cosine of x squared times the hyperbolic sine of x squared dx. Simplifying, we get 4x times the hyperbolic cosine of x squared times the hyperbolic sine of x squared dx. Now we can substitute. Our integral becomes 1 half times the integral of u du. Integrating with respect to u, we get u squared over 4 plus c. Finally, substituting the hyperbolic cosine of x squared for u, we get the hyperbolic cosine to the fourth of x squared over 4 plus c. So what seemed like a complicated integral evaluates to get the hyperbolic cosine to the fourth of x squared over 4 plus c.